acclaimed author and public speaker on Tantra is bringing her teachings to Minnesota for the first time. It's a message of love and ecstasy that can be a tough sell in this part of the country. As WCCO's Liz Collin found, they are far from rated R lessons and can go a long way in a relationship. <laughs> Simple pillows and a floor mat make the room. It's a ritual that means something. As Thomas Stout and Sarah Bewin create what they call their weekly sacred space. The feel in their fingertips. No matter how silly it may seem, they're sure we'd all find the results surprising. Just slowing down and taking a deep breath and just being across from another person like this puts you in a different place. Married for 25 years, the Plymouth couple now coaches people through the often taboo topic of intimacy. Garrison Keeler makes a joke about the guy that said, yeah, I love my wife so much I almost told her. I mean, that exists here in Minnesota. I appreciate how much you accept all of me. So thank you so much. But they have no trouble telling each other now, thanks to Tantra. Tantra at its essence means how do you weave together all of the elements of your life into a harmonious whole. Some people call me the grandmother of Tantra. Margot Anad is considered the pioneer of the practice from the Far East, the first to bring it to the West. And remember, I'm French. It's the country of love. Her books and workshops on love and ecstasy are well known around the world. You don't have to take your clothes off. You don't have to go to bed. I give you the ABC for you to have the most wonderful love life. I love looking into your eyes. Lessons of a sexual awakening as the seasons change, just as they did for Sarah and Thomas. I think that people really want more intimacy and love in their life. Uh, they just don't know how to get it. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. There are still spots available for Margot and Nod's weekend being held at the Women's Club of Minneapolis. You'll find ticket and pricing information at WCCO.com links.